Okay, so today we're going to talk about the sign out button in Windows 11. Now, some of you might have noticed on some systems when you click the start button and then you click the head and shoulders that this sign out has now gone missing. It's replaced by three dots. And when you click on those three dots, you just basically get an option to switch to another user. Now, as you can see, this still remains on mine. But if you've if you're missing the sign out button, then this video is going to show you how you can rebuild it. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, on some systems recently under Windows 11, the sign out button has gone missing meaning it makes it harder for you to sign out of the computer. Now, this can be handy for all sorts of reasons. It might be that you just want to sort of lock your computer. You might want to switch users between you and another person using that computer, but you want to sign out of your side before switching users. Now, like I say, Microsoft, for some reason, in their infinite wisdom, they have decided to remove that off of some systems. Don't know why. And there doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason. Some systems seem to still have it. Some systems don't. So anyway, enough waffle. Let's get on with it. Now, a couple of things you could try. Now, one thing is you could right click on the start button instead of left clicking. Go up to shut down or sign out and you might well find you've still got a sign out there. The other thing you can do is press Control, Alt and Delete on your computer, then let go of those buttons. And here you will see in the middle there as another sign out button. But what if you want a sign out button on your screen? Well, quite simple. All you do is just find an empty area of the desktop. Click the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. Go up to new and then across and left click once on shortcut. Then you want to type shut down dot exe space forward slash L Alpha Lima, just as it's shown on the screen now, all in lowercase. And the only space is between the exe and the forward slash. So that's shut down dot exe space forward slash L, all in lowercase. Then click on next. And then what you want to type in here is just sign space out, sign out. Now, it doesn't matter how you type this. Once you've done it, click on finish. That's a left click. And you should see somewhere around here. There you go. You've got a sign out button. Now, what we want to do is we want to make this a little bit prettier. So I can click on that, right click on that, and then go up to properties, left click, click on change icon. Now you'll get this message come up on your screen. Just click on OK, and then you should see some icons. So just scroll across. And what we're looking for is we're looking for this icon here, the head and shoulders. Just double left click on that, click on apply, click on OK. And as you can see there, we've got our sign out button. Now I can move that down to the bottom of the screen. So it's uh, in a convenient spot. I can also pin it to the start menu. So what I can do is I can put it in this menu up here. So I just right click on the icon I've just created, go up to show more options, left click, and then just click on pin to start. That's a left click. And now if I click on the start button there, there you go, sign out now appears in there. Now, if you can't see it on here, then it might be that it's it's been put on the second screen of pinned and you might have to scroll across, but you can move this. You can click and hold down the left mouse button and move it to wherever you want on the screen. So if you want it right at the front there, there you go, you can move it at the front. If you want it right at the end, you can move it at the end. If you want it over there, you can move it over there. Just keep your left mouse button held down on it and let go of it. You can even pin it to the taskbar at the bottom of the screen if you want. So again, just right click on that icon you created, click on show more options. That's a left click and click pin to taskbar. And then what you can do is you could move it again just by clicking and holding the left mouse button down. You could move it to the left there. And then all you got to do when you want to sign out is just click on that button and there you go. It then signs you out. Or you can just double left click sign out just down there. And that does exactly the same. Or you can click on your start button, wait for the start menu to come up and then click on sign out from there. And there you go. Nice, quick and easy fix for you.
I hope you liked this video and if you did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or if you can't do that then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things including my Amazon shop which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help Help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.